how to rank on the first page of Google using this ChatGPT SEO extension. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can outrank your competition and get on the first page of Google using this simple extension. So let's get into it. Now, ChatGPT is a super popular AI. Everyone has heard about it by now. And you probably are already using it and you're like, hey, how can I really improve my SEO? This is a content writing, you know, tool or just an AI tool to help you write. How could this improve SEO? Well, don't worry about it. There is actually an extension that can help you with optimizing your website's SEO and ranking on the first page of Google. So this SEO uh, extension is called AIPRM for ChatGPT. So for this, all you have to do is head on over to your Chrome Web Store. Just go into your Google Chrome Web Store and search for AIPRM for ChatGPT. Once you do that, click on Add to Chrome, click on Add Extension, and once the extension has been added, ChatGPT will open up in a new tab and you also might have to, you know, give the extension permission. And after that, this will be added into the new uh, ChatGPT uh, extension or tab. Now, from here, you have quite a few different tools and these tools are what are going to help you rank on the first page of Google. So. It has multiple different tools such as keyword strategies, outranking articles, and also things such as script creators, one-click blog post, and monthly content calendar, and outlines for blog posts, auditing existing content for SEO as well. So this is one platform that can really, really improve your website ranking. So if you have a blog, let's say I have this blog over here and I want to write a blog about, so let's say this is like our keyword, what is the importance of fashion and culture? So I want to write a blog on that. Now, what are you going to do is that the first thing what you want to do is that you're going to search for your keywords or whatever you want to rank for and take a article, take a blog post is ranking for that keyword. And then what you're going to do is open that blog post then you're going to go into ChatGPT, you're going to click on Outrank Article, go into this uh, blog, copy it and paste the URL over here, click on Return. And now this will begin writing a better version of the pre-existing article. So that is all you have to do. So this really allows you to create um, articles or create uh, items that are going to be, you could say, based off of the pre-existing ranking articles. Now, how does this help you? This helps you in a very easy fashion, which is the fact that these articles, these things are already ranking high. So this article is already ranking high. And if I am writing writing an article based off of this that is further optimized for SEO, then it is definitely going to rank higher and I can get my blog to rank higher. So once you have your article, you can just go into your blog post or go into your website and start writing your blog post and you all you have to do is copy and paste it from whatever chat gpt has written for you and the best part about this is that once you have a article based on the pre-existing article not only can you do this but you can click on new chat and over here you can click on keyword strategy now from here you can enter the keywords that you want to rank for so what is the importance of fashion and culture that is what I want to rank for and I'm going to paste that over here. Now what ChatGPT is going to do is that it will give me the specific items that I should be using in my pre-existing blogs to rank for this. Now it's giving me keyword clusters, the specific keyword, the search intent, informational, then the titles that I should be using. So now what I can do is that I'm going to wait for this to be typed up. So now you can see it's giving me multiple different uh, keyword clusters, meta descriptions, titles, search intent, and keywords. Now I want to rank for the keyword fashion and culture. Discover the impact of fashion on culture. Now this is the title that uh, ChatGPT has suggested for me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new chat over here. You can see this is like this is the prompt that you are getting automated with the extension. But once you have this little typed up, what you're going to do is you can just copy the title like so. Click on copy. So I'm just going to click on new chat and you can see it shows me multiple different, uh, you know, this public prompts. And then all you have to do is a human written and plagiarism free content for your blog. 
and you can just click on this and you can click on enter blog post title and now I just got the idea of the title from ChatGPT and now I'm getting ChatGPT to write my blog post for me and this is so amazing. It's like automating everything in your life. Uh, you All you have to do is that if there is any information further based on current events or based on current happenings you might want to add, you can add that as well. But other than that, you're pretty much covered in terms of a blog post. It's going to write the entire thing for you and you really don't have to, you know, um, spend a lot of time in writing or, you know, spend a lot of time in creating those articles, which might not be very easy for you. You might find it difficult to write long articles or to make sure everything is uh, working optimized in terms of SEO. Now, after that, I can also write, you know, maybe I want to uh, rank for fashion industry as well. The business of fashion and inside look at the industry. And I can just copy this title over here copy this, create a new chat, and then you can uh, click on outline for blog article, you know, create an outline for me, and then I can input information. You can write a smart article, best to rank number one on Google, and I can paste the title. Now, currently, you know, ChatGPT is, you know, at capacity sometimes, and sometimes it might be difficult for you to, uh, you know, write items using ChatGPT. This is because ChatGPT is used by so many people. So sometimes the servers might get crowded and you might get an error. But now you can see it is generating my response. And you can see it's writing the article. This is, you know, optimized to rank the highest on Google. And you can see if you're putting in all the metadata from this chart. So once the article is written, I'm just going to wait for this to be completed. And then I'm going to add this to my website. So I'm going to publish this blog post. So you can see it's writing the article. And this is another thing that uh, oftentimes when you're writing something halfway through, you just might lose the motivation to write quality content. And this is easier because if you have an outline provided by ChatGPT, it's easier to get started with writing and write the items by yourself. Or, But if ChatGPT is doing it for you, the quality or the linguistic level or the fluency of the article won't be disturbed. It will be pretty much the same throughout the article. And I'm just going to wait for this to be completed. Now you can see uh, this has been typed up. Now all I have to do is go on to my blog post writer, click on create post. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the title that I added, paste that over here like so. Then I can click on the settings and I can click on my advanced settings and add descriptions. Now for your descriptions, you're going to go into your chat GPT so I'm just going to go into ChatGPT and this is the informational article that we wrote on and this is like the metadata it asked me. So I'm going to copy this and add that in the description in the advanced section like this. Then you can also go into your SEO settings and you can click on the URL slug and enter the title as the URL slug as well as the meta description. So you're just going to add the meta description as it is on ChatGPT in this column. That is it. Now, after that, you can add categories, title tags as well. But after that, you can just click on over here into your article. Now, I'm just going to go on ahead and copy and paste my article. And now I can paste that like so and then i can just format this a little so i can make the headings a little bold i can add a little bit of spacing as well like this so i'm just going to add some spacing and once i do that i can just click on publish over here and that is it so I have a SEO optimized blog ready and out and the best part about this is that a blog like this can start getting, you know, uh, viewership very soon and can start ranking once you, you know, get some initial organic views, you're going to start ranking for all of the items that you have input in this specific blog. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.